whichever way you look at it, whichever label or description, the evidence is absolutely clear that as an institution, are they prejudiced and discriminatory? Yes, they are. Change didn't come, so now this report has to carry that and has to take responsibility for getting the change needed uh, that we should have had at the point that that young woman lost her life. This report, the diagnosis is that, um, I agree with it, it's not simply the ghastly fact that we have racists, misogynists and homophobes in the organisation. But actually, it's also about we've got systemic failings, management failings, cultural failings, which has given them more licence to operate than we ought. Is it, I mean, you talk about there being very significant threats, it's really just... We have um, racist, misogynist, homophobes in the organisation, we have systemic management, cultural failings, all of that I'm fully accepting and I'm resolved that we're going to tackle it. We've already grown our professional standards capabilities, we are sacking more people, we're getting more intelligence from our good men and women in the organisation who want to take this on. We are making progress. We have published a turnaround plan, that's our plan for radical reform. We published it two months ago and we said then we were going to listen to the public, we're going to listen to Casey, and then that, that plan will develop a lot further. And the next version of that will capture um, Louise Casey's recommendations, it'll capture feedback from the public. And the progress we've made will continue. Month by month, quarter by quarter, we will give Londoners the service of policing that they want and deserve and fix the issues that need fixing. <laughs>